thanks for tuning into this video my name is titi and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do this delicious cameroonian bongo chobi recipe with pork this food is actually eaten by the duara people of cameroon and it is so delicious you can use pork fish or whatever protein you like for this recipe now for this recipe you're going to be needing some pork this pork has been seasoned with salt seasoning garlic and a little bit of white pepper and i let it marinate in the fridge for at least two hours before roasting it you're also going to be needing some tomatoes fresh tomatoes this is fresh tomatoes that has been blended boiled so the water is dried down to form this paste You're going to need some jangsa, this is going to also act as a thickener to the soup. Some onion, some ginger, garlic and pepper mix. Some pepe, white pepper. The bongo spice itself. Some salt and seasoning. Now this is the pork that has been seasoned and left for 2 hours in the freezer. You just go ahead to roast the pork like this just to make it absorb the flavor more and to eradicate the smell that normally comes with pork meat. Now for the next step you're going to add the roasted pork meat into a pot. Add in some onions, some white pepper some pepper adding also some ginger garlic and pepper salt and seasoning then you're going to add in water into it and allow it to boil until it is soft and tender guys i have a rest i have a video where i did some carbonian ingredients and what they are and what they are used for so you can check out that video to better understand some of the ingredients used in this recipe After letting the pork boil for at least 20 to 25 minutes, the pork is going to be soft and tender. Now you're going to take down the pot and move to the next step. In another pot, you're going to add in some vegetable oil, add in the onions, and you're going to saute the onions for a bit before you're going to add the tomato paste. After letting the tomato paste and the onions fry down for a while, you're going to proceed to adding the pork into the mixture and just give it a good stir until everything is properly combined. At this point, you're going to add in the ground jansa and the quantity of jansa you're going to be adding in your 
bongo is totally dependent on you now you can add in as much if you want it to be very thick or you can add it moderately if you don't want the bongo to be very thick but bongo is best served thick Be sure to keep stirring the pot because after adding the jansa, the tendency is that it's going to want to burn easily. The jansa burns easily, so just keep on stirring, stirring it all together. Now, at this point, you're going to add in some water. Add about three cups of water. Next, you're going to add in the pork stock. That's the stock we got from the pork. And then you're going to give it all a good mix and let it boil down. Now the pot has been boiling for a while and as you can see the njangsa has started reacting in the pot. The soup is getting thicker. Now you're going to go ahead to add in your ingredients. Add in some white pepper. Next you add some pepper. The remaining ginger, garlic and pepper mix. And then you're going to add in some green spices sorry i did not mention green spices in the beginning but you need to add in green spices into the bongo just to enhance the flavor and the taste of the njansa and the bongo together At this point, you can now go in with your bongo spice. This bongo spice has been dissolved in water because it comes in a powdery form. Now, you can get the spice in any local market around you. Just go and ask for bongo spice and you're going to be given. It's normally this black powder um, ingredient. So, it's normally sold in that form. So, be sure to ask for bongo spice when you go to the market to get this. I'm also going to add that the quantity of the mbongo should be proportionate to the amount of tomatoes you're going to be using in your soup. If you add in so much of the bongo spice, you're definitely going to lose the taste of the soup because the mbongo spice is going to overshadow the taste of all the other ingredients. Now I have gone ahead to add in some salt, some seasoning and some vegetable oil and I'm just going to allow this to boil down properly until everything is cooked and delicious that brings us to the end of this video hope you like this video please do subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here and share this video with your friends see you in my next video bye